Hey guys, Glenn McDonald, Dave Cheval, and another team member, Richard Medusi with us today. We're back. Today we got 47-1. Might actually have a few things moving around down here at the moment. But we're going to give her another shot today. We got about four hours. And yeah, we're going to have a CN rail train go by here any second. So stick around. We're hoping for another big day on the live suckers. I'll hold just a second. We'll see if we can get this train to give us a little good morning. Oh. All right, stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, when you hear and you get that little bit of current, all your constantly. Oh. He's set the hook himself. He's coming up. He's just about there. No, nope, you won't be able to with this guy. Oh, there goes your sucker. There was something coming off the bottom there. Okay, anchor. That was nothing. It was heavy danger. Okay, guys, that train that just went by at the intro, it had literally just went by us, and Dave's like fish, and there was no waiting to set the hook. This thing come up from the bottom and literally just grabbed it, set. Just a little tiger. Pretty but little tiger, but that's a good start to the morning. A waste of a sucker, but. Uh, they all count, man. All right, let's get another one. Let's get going. It's a good start to the day. Okay, We've been here up. for not even five minutes. Stick around. We'll be right back. Grab the next rip. Ready? Go to the front rip. Hey guys, <clears throat> so I just lost one boat side. Dave had his down. I don't know if it's the same fish. Come around hard. Chunky little guy. Hey, chunky little guy. Not real long, but decent. That's the second one. We've had two other rips. Dave lost one and I lost one. So we're gonna keep at it. We're just coming on to our Moonrise Miner. Okay, and there he goes. <clears throat> All right, we're just coming on to our Moonrise Miner, so we're hoping that this next hour and a bit's gonna be pretty good, so we'll be back to you guys in a bit. Oh, oh boy. 56 feet, we got one on, but we haven't set the hook yet. We're about to make something happen. We hope. Forty-seven feet. Forty-seven feet. Yeah. Crab pots that deep. Twenty feet. Couldn't roll them up to you quick enough. Damn it. 
hot, he, he come off right at the boat, so you should get the, it was right under the boat there. I thought I could just roll him right in the net and then he run under yeah, the boat. He, he went towards Rich. There he is right there under the boat. There he is. Coming up. Coming out here. Oh, did he touch it? Stick him. That's not the same thing. Yeah, he's got a little stubby nose. All right, so Yay. what just happened there is oh, yeah, he does, right? we lost the one. There's the CN boy. We just we just lost the one boat side, and we were just gonna move and head out to go trolling. Got a little mark on his tail. And Rich and I seen a mark on the graph, and I just put actually Dave's rod. I put the sucker down, and this guy comes straight up. Hey, Rich. Hit yeah. it right away, and there was really not much you could do about it. He was going. Good thing we seen him on the finder. There he goes. Time when you catch a fish here. Oh, oh, that's great. That's almost orgasmic. Oh, Shedding some clothes. That didn't take long. You're right. I'm taking a piss. Hold on, can you hold off? <laughs> okay, guys. So we just come through. Hey, easy, easy little guy. We just come through and as you've seen on the little short video, I just put my sucker down. This fish come off the bottom, hit it right away. We were just joking that Richie was gonna have to go to the washroom and that, oh, we're gonna catch a fish. And there was again, no warning. It was Nothing. just, it was just go time, grab the net and let's go. Again, little tiger, but these are fun. Like this is fun. This They're is aggressive. The fourth one today. Who doesn't like catching muskies, right? I just want to point out, Dave. Oh, he's got. Oh, it's just soft. <laughs> I thought he had, had one, one boot on. Off. <laughs> you know, he's in soft. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right, we got another one pulling here. Let's see if we can get him stuck. Thank you. 
I went right at him. Okay, Rich. That's a heavier fish. Alright, so we just rolled over a whole pile there. Rich just had one follow in on a Medusa, and we're coming back up onto a hump. And we actually seen like what two or three fish on the graph there, I think. Oh, yeah. Graph, yeah. And this one hit and he just took off right away and we were able to get a pretty solid hook set on him. He's definitely heavier. We'll give him that. Aggressive. No, it's a better one for today. All right, let's go. Let's get another one. <laughs> okay, guys. Here's the big land up. The big finish, so to speak. So we got five today so far. Probably dropped four. Yeah, we dropped a few. Some whatever stuff happened. It's fishing. Richie was casting all day. He was moving fish, jigging and casting, and we had some pretty serious action on the cast on a Medusa. Just wouldn't quite go. But that again, that's fishing. So we're just gonna troll our way in. And if nothing happens and nothing happens, we'll do uh, just a quick wind up over at the landing. But water temps are back up to 47.7. We didn't actually see a whole lot of bait today, I don't think, eh, Dave? Most of it was the fish were there. And honestly, I don't care because it's November 7th and I was in my pajamas and a t-shirt and socks for most of the day. So days like this are a gift because <laughs> it's going to be 40 below before we know. Yeah, it's going to turn cold here in another week. So we'll take every nice day out on the water that we can get. So for Richie and Dave, Glenn and 54 bust, we'll catch you guys out on the water later.